How do you feel? Uh, first, I just want to say uh, thank God and my parents and everyone that came over here uh, to support me. And um, it's just a great feeling to be around great people, great atmosphere. It's just good tennis out here. I'm just happy that I made people, you know, as long as the people enter get entertained, I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, you played him in the off season, I guess, you know, in the junior tournaments. Mm -hmm. So that's why he got the seating ahead of you. Did that matter to you or did they give you just a tiny bit more motivation? Um, I'd say both because, you know, number is just a number. Like, no matter what you are, for example, I go to nationals, I'm not seated. I play a seated guy. It doesn't really matter. It's just your ability and your skills to play the best. So that one time you played him, yeah. that was I don't know when. Uh, January. January. And what was different today? Um, I was in, uh, I'd say, um, I don't want to make an excuse, but I was uh, out of cold in January. So I couldn't really play my best. And today I just played who I was and I got a good outcome. Yeah. Was there anything from that match strategically that you saw that you, you put into play today? Um, I'd say I just have to be more patient for me because I'm a player that, you know, I off, have the, to off the serve or more when everything being along? The whole game. Because he's a player, he, he doesn't miss, and I just play my game. My game is, you know, I'm aggressive. I'm always aggressive because big time players make big time plays, basically. So that's what I always think. Was there a certain thing with your, with your serve where you were looking for a certain spot that you noticed, okay, he's not as accurate with, with this? Uh, so I made patterns, so I always tell myself, you know, I either go too wide and then I go to the T. So I gotta always mix it up and always have a pattern. Kind of like pitching. Yeah. Except pitchers don't run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They just kind of throw the ball. Um, which is which is better, winning ones or winning? I mean, the first time is the first time, so it feels different, right? Yeah. So winning the first time, I'd say um, I had to prove something for myself. And this year, I felt it's my senior year. I just told myself to enjoy. So it's I'd say uh, this one was better than last year because I had a mission yet uh, last year, and this year I was like, let's just have fun. Whatever happens, you know, I'm happy with whatever happens. When did you know during this match that, you know what, he's trying his best, mm -hmm. but I, I kind of know what I need to do today specifically to beat him. So it was in the second set, I think. I was up 3-2. Oh, no, no. Uh, when, I, when I went up 2-0, he started to change his game and be more aggressive, which... Second set? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not used to him doing that, so... He got more aggressive? Yeah. So I just played my game and um, told myself to be a little more patient on the ball because if I if I don't be patient, he's gonna beat me easily because I'm gonna miss, obviously. Yeah. What was your biggest reminder to yourself? Because you know, like most players, you know, you're, you're talking to yourself in between points. Uh, so I tell myself, I basically say just say, um, big time players make big time plays because Kobe, Michael. Um, all those okay. NBA players. Just for finding like some issues. Thanks. Um, that's basically it. I always think of. It always makes me motivated all the time.